My lady, do you solemnly swear to use a Trixo hand cream as your night cream for the next month? Challenge accepted! Hey there, welcome, welcome back to Self Care Karen. So, just over a month ago, I decided to try out a skincare hack that I had seen on Mumsnet. Um, and that was to use the Atrixo hand cream as uh, a night cream. Um, and I took a picture of my skin at that time just to like have a before. So maybe we can put that on the screen now. Thank you, lovely video editor. Um, and just have a, a look. You can see that my skin was um, quite uh, red and a bit blotchy. Um, that's quite normal for me. I do get that. Um, and I, to be honest with you, I've never really looked to treat that, but maybe that should be something that I look into. The hand cream that I got was um, the Atrixo Enriched Moisturising Cream, which is with chamomile. So this is um, the tub that I got. Really inexpensive. I think it was just a few pounds. Um, and I haven't actually used that much, but I have been using it every evening as a night cream. And I also went rogue a few days um, as you do um, and I used it as a day cream too but also but just to say because it doesn't have an SPF in it I um, then applied uh, an SPF on top just to protect my skin further from sun damage which to me is just super critical um, now at the beginning I was kind of really really worried about um, doing this test this challenge if you like um, but as time wore on I kind of thought well why would it be a problem? Hand cream surely isn't that much different to creams that you put on your face. Um, and yeah, and as no, I didn't suffer any kind of, an, kind of adverse reaction. Um, it now seems to me like actually quite a sensible thing to, to do. Um, that said, a couple of things to mention. I would not use this as a hand cream. <laughs> I don't like it as a hand cream. It's too lightweight. I like something a bit stronger, a bit thicker. Um, it doesn't feel like this has got glycerine in it. I don't haven't actually looked at the ingredients and they're not uh, to state that I think they must be under here. But uh, I don't know if this has got a large amount of glycerine in it. It feels too lightweight um, to use. It does make a really good body cream, though. And I will be using this up as a body cream because I'm going to move on to another skincare routine. Um, for the next month so I'm not going to be using this anymore on my face. Um, I do find that I get sort of some sore areas around here may come from the fact that I pluck the hairs around there that grow um, and I also get some soreness around my jaw again could be due to the lovely hairs that grow there and then I then pluck them when I see them. Uh, this didn't really make that worse or make it better just kind of carried on. Um, this for, as a night cream, it's fine, but it is very lightweight. So coming into the winter now, I want something a bit thicker. I want something with a bit more oomph. This doesn't didn't really have it. This is not the Atrixo hand cream that I remember from my youth. <laughs> I remember my grandmother having tubs of Atrixo hand cream, and I remember that being much thicker. So I don't know if there are other ones. Maybe I need to have a, a better look, but this was the one that I found at the time of going into this challenge. When I applied the cream as a day cream and then I put the SPF on top, I found that the cream leaked into my mouth and oh, well, the combination of cream and SPF leaked into my mouth and also, which I can just about deal with, but into my eyes. And that was just like mother faloonies. And I had to, uh, it was like two or three occasions where I had to cleanse my face in the middle of the day because it was just too much. The eyes were just not dealing with it well. So yeah, going rogue doesn't always pay off, um, but it was an interesting thing. And I, I am really, um, you know, 
uh, surprised and I really think it's great that these SPF boosters actually do mix in with um, everyday creams, not just the ones from their range. So that was heartening, but yeah, the leaking, not so great. I think it's just because it's just too loose, this, this cream. So yeah, I have survived the challenge. It was great fun to complete it. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any other kind of skincare hacks that you think I might want to try out, um, I'm, I'm up for it. I am so, so up for it. So um, just to let you know that you can definitely connect with me on different social media um, outlets. I also have an Etsy shop. Um, I sell lots of different um, self-care related products, including meditation scripts and also personalized skincare routine. So if you're looking to improve your skincare routine, then check out my store. If you want a discount for my store and a free meditation script, then uh, sign up to my mailing list and you can do that on my website, which is selfcarekaren.com. Thank you very, very much for joining me today. As always, it has been a pleasure. Remember, you are in perfect time. See you soon.